Goal kickers. Week in, week out, they carry a heavy burden with the hopes of their teammates and supporters resting on their shoulders. The pressure is relentless. So how to produce the perfect kick by setting the posts time and again? Meet Londoner Rob Westworth of Barnes Second 15. I think I'm looking to gain a bit of structure to my kicking technique. Uh, I think if I videoed most of my kicks, each one would look pretty different. Enter the man widely regarded as the world's finest kicking coach, Dave Allred, who's worked with, among others, England's frontline kickers, Toby Flood and Johnny Wilkinson. The key to a good kicker, I think, at a very high level, is confidence in knowing that where you want the ball to go, you're capable of doing it. So let's put Dave's wisdom to the test. You kicked and your weight came back because you felt comfortable leaning back, didn't you? So what's actually happened, the only thing that's given any power to the ball is actually your leg. All the weight that you've got in your body quits, nothing transfers in the ball and it's all leg. So what we're going to work on is weight transfer. So I don't want you to worry where the ball goes. We want to make sure that your pillar, which I'm calling from basically there to there, that pillar has to move parallel with the flight of the ball. And that's all we're going to work on. Just run through and hit it. Don't think. OK, perfect. So many people tend to quit the body and let the leg take over. And, and then you get all sorts of uh, scattered um, results after that. On the first one, you what we call wrapped the ball. So if you imagine the tease the ball, the foot went round the back. On that second one, you forgot about that and you ran through it and your kicking foot went down. If your kicking foot goes down, just watch what happens to my body. Kicking foot goes down, look where my body's gone. It has to move where the ball's gone. Got to remember, if the pillar goes to the target, chances are the ball goes. If the pillar quits, it's a lottery because it's just your leg. You start visualising, you start preparing, you start going on in your body position where that's going to come to and you, you follow through, moving your body through the ball in the line of the, the target and then combining it all at the same time with this huge visualisation of the actual event happening before it's happened. And the next bit is the impact position, which I'd like you to learn by feeling it, and the foot position. First of all, I'm going to put my heel where the ball is. Push your foot against the heel. Now that's the, a really good impact position, but your non-kicking foot is not cut to the post. Now, you see that's quite strong, because your hips are going to be slightly offset. And the other big thing is to keep this shoulder forward. Now I'm going to put my foot slightly forward. Now try and push it. It's, it's horrible, isn't it? That's why the position of the non-kicking foot next to the ball is so important. If we can say, instead of in the head, how much is it is confidence and the ability to have the kick to match your expectation, then a massive, massive amount of that is important, particularly at international level. So we, we've got the foot position. We now want to get really if you like, precise on the bit of the ball, and that will affect the foot position as well. With regard to the focus on the ball, you're talking much smaller than just letters on the ball. We're talking, we're talking pimples on the ball sort of thing. Yeah, that's kind of where you're going to. So, yeah, it's, it's like I said, you, you're focused on detail. When you can control something, you've got to make the most of that joy because there, there's many things in the game which you can't control. So this time, I'm going to say to you, hit on the blue. Does that make sense? rather than the back of the seams. Everybody thinks you hit at the back, but the toes always wrap around. So we want to hit on the side, so the toes wrap to the middle. Great kick. Now we've got the sort of fundamental hits. We're going to look at aiming. And, and what I'd like you to do is to picture a spot right in the middle of the post. If you fix that target in your mind and really look at it, and then come back to the ball, you'll still see it in your mind's eye without looking at it, and then you're going to be right on the line. When you start dealing with, what if I miss, and this will do this, and this will mean we win the game, you start dealing with the outcome, you miss the bit in the middle. And the bit in the middle, if you're not fully focused on it, if you don't link the chain right, then the final link that you're after is going to be miles away. 
It's been a massive bonus. Uh, I think I put a ball down with a lot more confidence than I normally do on a Saturday, um, knowing that I've got several steps to work from. Each time I put the ball down, I have, a sim I have the same routine to work from. I'm certainly going to be more confident kicking the goals. Well done. Well done.